Hey, wedding filmmakers, Bobby here from Wedding Film School. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create awesome layered vertical videos like this and why they've totally ignited my social media strategy. In a recent video, I talked about how to easily export vertical videos for today's social media platforms and why it's so important to do so for your wedding filmmaking business. One of my complaints with that though is of course that I have to crop my beautiful and intentional framing way in to fit the vertical aspect ratio. I didn't like that and this vertical stacking method solves that problem. Additionally, it lets me show off a good portion of a wedding in a 15 second window. It stands out on TikTok and Instagram reels and it's incredibly easy to make, which is giving me tons of content for social media lately. So let's jump in. All right, so as you can see, I'm in Final Cut, but the idea is the same no matter what editor you are in. All right, so there's a couple things you need for this video to work. The first, I like to pull from my finished highlight film, so you'll see me working that project. The second is a project or sequence or timeline where you can build out little 15 second sequences. So what this is, is a series of 15 second sequences, essentially of different parts of the day. And I really like to focus on a story within each sequence. Now you can see in here, I already have some made. I've got one of details, one of the bride, uh, one of the couple photos, but let's go ahead and make another one here. So as an example here, let's go ahead and just build a groom prep one. So I've pulled out some of my clips from groom prep in the highlight film. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, drag those over and then I'm gonna mark exactly at 15 seconds. And it looks like I need a few more shots. So let me go grab those. And I already pulled these from the highlight film. You can see them, they're here in, the, uh, in this real timeline. That should be enough. Now I'm gonna just watch through it, make sure there's no clips that I'm sitting on for way too long or something like that. And that looks good to me. So then I'm gonna take the whole sequence that I just built out and I'm gonna right click and go to new compound clip. And I'll name that with the couple. And then I've also been naming them uh, like groom or something like that. So I know which sequence it is. And then the last thing you're gonna need is the actual project that's in the vertical aspect ratio. So I called this one real actual. Now my, uh, my highlight films that I make are 1920 by 816, that's the dimensions. So if I take 816 times three, I'll pull out a calculator here, it is 2448. So I'm gonna make this project 1920 by 2448. The width of my project is staying the same, but I'm stacking three videos on top of each other. So that is 2448. Yours might be different, um, but feel free to make it whatever you want. And just to note, this is not something that completely fills the screen on a phone. I know that if you want to make one that fills the screen, you can do that. You can space it around however you want. But I've found that this is vertical enough, so to speak, and I'm not seeing any detrimental, you know, stats or anything like that on TikTok or Instagram Reels by posting ones like this. And I like them when they're closer together. And then all you're gonna do is you're going to take the sequences that you want copy and I went ahead and copied that adjustment layer you see on top too, that's my color grade uh, for the different clips that I pulled from my highlight film. I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in real actual, which is my sequence that I will actually export out of. And you'll see here that you can't see uh, all of them right away. And you'll also notice one clip, that's the drone shot, which shows up in a different aspect ratio because I copied it over. So I'll fix that at one point as well but I'm gonna go ahead and organize these in the order that they will sit in the stack. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna do groom up top, uh, couples photos in the middle, and the uh, party, the wedding party, and kind of the venue on the bottom. And so for the top one here, all we're gonna change is on the Y axis. So all I'm gonna have to do is put the top one at positive 816 and put the bottom one at negative 816 and they will stack perfectly and fill the frame. And I always recommend looking through it and checking. Sometimes there are some clips, depending on where you pulled them from, whether it was a finished project or raw footage or something like that, the dimensions can get messed up a little bit and sometimes they will overlap. And you can adjust that by cropping them a little bit in the inspector. Uh, but once you have that all set up, you are ready to go and export that film. And the nice thing is, once you make that export, you can go back in and you can take 
you know, for example, let's take out one of these here and I can replace that with bride. So now I have the bridal prep, the groom prep, and the couple's photos. Or if I wanna take one of those out or two of them out and do the bridal prep, the venue, and the details, I can make a bunch of different short videos from these handful of different 15 second sequences. They look awesome and they perform well. And one thing I've been experimenting with, audio is super important, not only to a wedding film, but of course, when you are displaying a wedding film on TikTok or Instagram Reels or what have you. So you can mess around with taking a toast or a speech or vows or something like that, taking that audio and throwing it under these 15 second vertical layered stacked videos. And that can work well too. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found that helpful. Between myself, Jared, and Jason, we've got a ton of awesome content coming out multiple times a week here on Wedding Film School, including our podcast, The Wedding Film School Show, and live film reviews, in addition to our typical gear reviews and tutorials. So if any of that is of interest to you, go ahead and subscribe. And be sure to hit that little bell to be the first to know when we drop new content or go live. And I will see you in the next video.